Introducing the challenger. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 360 pounds, Brooke Lithner. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing 265 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, The Throttle Chief, Roman Reigns. Don't move, don't speak, don't even blink. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. What a stomp! Good grief! He knows he's in trouble. Don't you dare get up, man. Superman punch! Good night! But he's got to capitalize now. He'd be... Can he finish the job? Brock Lesnar is getting overwhelmed. And he kicks out. Yeah, he's not done yet. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. When it comes to taking on Brock Lesnar, Corey, we've seen varying approaches. Almost all of them resulted in very little success. But what do you think is the best strategy when stepping into the ring with the Beast? Honestly, pray. Hope the pain and agony is going to be over as quickly as possible. Oh my god, a clothesline! 
Going back to strategy against Lesnar, I have to reiterate, the man's track record includes very few losses and a ton of broken bodies. What else is there to do against the Beast? Uh, I've got an even better answer than you, Corey. I simply wouldn't even step in the ring with Lesnar in the first place. Turn tail, run, and take that count out loss to live another day. You're smarter than you look, Saxon. See? There haven't been many performers who can claim their first WrestleMania match was in the main event. But then again, there haven't been many performers like Brock Lesnar. Oh, that's true, Michael. Lesnar debuted the night after WrestleMania 18, and one year later, he was closing out the showcase of the Immortals, battling Kurt Angle for the WWE Championship. Stay down, man. You guys brought up Brock Lesnar's first WrestleMania. Yes, it was the main event, but you failed to mention that he won that main event match, too. Yeah, Corey, it was a brilliant mixture of technical wrestling and all-out brawling that only Angle and Lesnar... He wants it one more time. German suplex! Woo. What a clothesline! Ouch! Unfortunately, Corey, I can tell you firsthand that Brock Lesnar is among the most unpredictable superstars on the roster today. You just never know when he's going to snap. When you say firsthand, Cole, I assume you were oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. I'm not sure how much he has left. This is exactly what Roman Reigns needed. All the momentum on the side of Reigns. And the shoulders come up. The Beast won't stay down. Not for nothing, Corey, but you describing Lesnar's 2015 attack on Michael as one of the greatest Raw moments is a little disrespectful. No, it's not, because you took over play-by-play, -play, and at the end of that, I sounded like Gordon Soley. Yeah, and if you think that's disrespectful, Sax, then just wait till you hear how I describe it when Lesnar finally comes over here and destroys you. Don't wish that upon me. He's not going to like this. He wants no part of this. playing with him now. He'd be wise to stay right there. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Dangerous Brock Lesnar really is, guys. Just go ask Triple H. After all, Lesnar did. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. He's definitely starting to lose it here. Here we go. Brock Lesnar is setting it up. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The pit five. Oh, my. Got every ounce of that. Cole brings up a good point about the danger that Brock Lesnar poses. And keep in mind, Triple H isn't the only person who suffered a broken arm at the hands of the Beast. That's right, Corey. Triple H's good friend, Shawn Michaels, also had his arm broken at the hands of Brock Lesnar. Here is Roman Reigns in position now. He doesn't look too eager to get up. I knew it was only a matter of time. was vicious, but he's got a cover. The cover, and this one's history. What a win.
Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, but never quite lived up to all the hype. Good match overall, though. It's a win.